Good morning. This is Marcy here, and this morning I just want to do a, I'm going to call it a, a finished um, textbook, no, not textbook, a finished sketchbook walkthrough to kind of show you how I just sequentially go through and keep doing and doing and doing art pieces, and I don't make anything special. And I think that's what really helps me learn and uh, produce pieces. And so I'd like to encourage you to, you know, get an art pad like this and do the same thing. This is a, it's called a watercolor. They call it a watercolor pad. It's really durable. So you could use it for any kind of mixed media. It's Canson. And um, I think I got this at Walmart. It's a 140 pound paper. That's how you know how heavy it is, 140 pounds. I think there's 30 sheets here, but I'm gonna walk most of my stuff's in here. I just want to walk you through this and show you how how it looks, so you can see that I just I just keep going. Um, let's see if you can see these. So this so these are just some um, outdoor pieces. You can see they're really small. I think this one's three by five, and this one's five by seven. And in here we've got um, the marker, pen, and colored pencil um, work that I do. So that's a couple. And here, I think we had a preliminary sketch for a little portrait I was doing um, on women I admire. So uh, yeah, I was you know doing a little bit of scribbling there to see what would happen. And this is a little sketch, trying something new to see how that would work out. Again, I was looking for some design elements here. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, upside down. This, actually I was out in the park one day and just doing a little bit of scribbling with my um, pen and ink and markers and uh, watercolor, so prime, or um, colored pencils. So primarily that's what's in here. Let's see what else we have. Oh. This side, we have, um, this is just a pencil sketch, so I do practice sketching. This is Anne Frank, and um, so these are the ones that form the basis a lot of uh, uh, what I put colored pencils and markers on top of these. Here's a little pen sketch, so I do a scribble, and then I you know put a little bit of marker on top. Again, this is just, this is my, you know, book where I'm just sitting down every day doing something. And I consider that, that the biggest learning experience, just do something. And here's a couple more outdoor pieces. You can see they're very small. Um, and I, I do make a little format for them. Um, using a mat. That's the inside of a mat, and I just draw the square and, and go at it. This is when I remember I was just starting with these. I didn't know what I was doing, so I tried a floral. You know, I was getting trying to be more precise, and then I was trying to be a little bit looser. So I was just, you know, just trying different things to see what would work. What else do we have here? We have these, another one from the Woman series. So you see, I'll just go right back and forth from maybe a landscape, you know, to doing, um, you know, a sketch in ink of somebody. They're not, some, an art teacher said something really cool to me once. He said, never make your artwork precious. In other words, what I heard is you, you just go for it. It's not like you're going to take it, you know, to the Louvre. Just have at it. Oh, now you can see here we have a piece of cardboard, literally cardboard. Um, and, you know, here we were in the, you know, we're in the pandemic thing, can't go out. So I wanted to show how the piece was done on cardboard. So this is the one. I literally got a piece of cardboard uh, to show that you can do artwork. It doesn't have to be a fancy paper. So I think this came out of an Amazon box. And I like it. It came out okay. 
I'm pleased. I think I used three or four colors max here, and this was this is house paint. So I was showing you, you know, hey, grab some house paint out of the garage. This is a black Sharpie. That worked out for me. Um, it can work for you. I smeared this with my finger. This tutorial is online. I think it's called How to Create an Impressionist Painting from Stuff You Have Around the House. So this one's online. What do we have? Oh, here we have, I was having a cat day. So I think I have, you know, some cats here. And um, this is when I'm playing around with composition to see, you know, what I want to do. Oh, got one on the back. Try not to let them cross over. Sometimes they do. Oh, well. <laughs> so this was, uh, I tend to do these really bright, fun drawings. You know, when I'm down in the dumps, doing something crazy and fun like this always, you know, kind of lightens things up. So this was my, this is my cat character here. And, you know, the birds dancing outside. I think this was kind of toward the very beginning of the whole pandemic thing hitting us. Had to do something fun. Uh, this is when I was talking to myself about starting these uh, videos. Shapes, values, colors, and textures. What I wanted to bring to anyone who watches my videos is that these are the four consistent tools I use when I um, do any of these pieces. Anything on the back? Nope. All right. This is a big piece. Uh, this is this is Big Sur from a picture I took at Big Sur. Again, it's the uh, watercolor and marker. And all these are, this is just when I was just getting started. So I think, you know, experimenting and not having a lot of expectations is, is what moves you forward. If you never try anything new, you won't know if it works. And who knows, if you personally, you may be the one it works for because it really fits you. Another sketch, another cat. This was getting a little bit more precise with facial features and body. I always, again, I say this a million times, I'm always looking at the blacks and the whites. And um, here's, you know, I'm looking a lot here at the composition, you know, where I want to put patterns. All these are just things I've learned and again, experiment with throughout the years. Some more small landscapes. Both are different if you notice. The sketch pattern here is entirely different from here. So I tried something totally different over here to see, you know, what it would look like. So as I look through this myself, I think, geez, I tried a lot of stuff. Um, this is from another tutorial. This is on a paper bag. It looks like it's crinkling a little bit, but it's on a paper bag. Um, so it's not, again, it's not about how fancy your paper is. It's about, you know, trying what you have. Um, you might create something completely fascinating and interesting, but not if you just um, stick to the tried and true at all times. Still taped down, haven't put it anywhere. Ah, uh, this is um, Ruth Bader Ginsburg on our Supreme Court um, when she was ill. I, I typically do a lot of pieces, you know, that move me emotionally, however I'm feeling. It gives me some emotional outlet for the day to do art, and this was when she was very ill. I think she's really important um, to our country and to its history and to our women. So I tried a couple of uh, different pieces for her, ink, and a little bit of that marker. So um, the woman is still working. Good for her. What else do we have here? Oh, then I was getting really crazy and experimental. I just decided I just really wanted to push out and 
I started to do these crazy cat things, but they're really breaking up space to see that, to see what would happen if you notice how broken the space is. And oh, it's really kind of just another experiment, kind of digging it. And here we have um, some kind of futurist, futuristic landscape. So we're getting, I think we're getting near the end. You'll see I got just about everything in here. Back to the portraits. Here we have Anne Frank with some markers. Here we have uh, Greta braiding her hair. Kind of a 60s vibe going there. So you see, I just, I think, I think this is about three months worth of just working it. And these were a kick. Um, here I was getting that sketchy thing that I really like. I'm going to call it shimmer, I think. Shimmer paintings, where I'm just doing a lot of weird sketchy stuff. And it started to happen here. And um, I like it. And I haven't gone back to it um, until this piece, which really got crazy. And I, it's kind of fun. I really like, like that. So... That's those. What else? This is when I was getting ready to teach the, you know, portrait class or tutorial, and I had to figure it out myself. So I went back and I'm sketching out how I might present it. And this is a little sample of when I was going to teach this tutorial, and I was trying to do it really fast. Didn't quite succeed. I mean, like in 10 minutes. Not quite there. These are some, this is me, I remember this now, sometimes I forget. This is when I was trying some water-based markers. You know, what would happen? Um, they tend to be very, very heavy. So I would think that the water-based Sharpie markers, they don't layer nearly as well, but you know, they have a purpose. If you want something really, really dark, you can use them. So those are uh, that experiment. I don't know, I don't think anybody likes this one, but I just think this is fascinatingly cool. It's some kind of a weird imaginary interior. I don't know what it is. It's got a piano in it. I play the piano. I love this thing. I have no idea why. Again, a lot of ink. Um, a lot of that sketchy thing, maybe not quite calm enough certain certain areas. Um, another crazy, totally crazy, fun, crazy piece. Um, I did this small and I did it big. This is again like some kind of an interior. It's got a cat. Um, again, it's just trying different things without um, without judging myself. Um, and that's really what I hope to bring to you guys. Just ju not judging. So here's some more um, little landscapes. And we're ending here. I've got this work in progress of that I haven't finished yet. Um, I need to do a lot more here on this body. But so that's the end of my 30 page um, mixed media book. So Again, I didn't need a lot of stuff. I got, you know, I got my markers and colored pencils and my pencil and um, my ink pen. And I have this little book. So um, I really want to encourage you to, to give things a try. You don't need to do really big things. But if you want to follow along, um, I will be going back and forth between, you know, basics. These are some really basic drawings, so some basic sketches. So I will be doing very basic sketches. Um, here's another one to show you what they look like in pencil. I want you to see what they look like. You know, I can do very basic um, value pieces. 
and then to take that into another place. So I want to present both things to you, the excitement of experimenting and the art basics of, um, you know, how to make a strong composition. So anyway, thanks for joining me this morning on my um, congratulatory self, congratulatory walk through that um, mixed media book. And that's how it works on my uh, desk here. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.